mentioned in the Quran. Now, there are two places I've um, seen the Jewish, um, the star known as the Star of David, that six-pointed star. It's on the, uh, the flag of Israel, and uh, most of the emblems here in Trinidad and Tobago, if you look and see like the car of the police, and it's passing by, you'll see that six-pointed star. So I'm trying to find out now if there's some kind of association between the powers to be in Trinidad and Tobago and the Jews. <laughs> You are allowed to marry a Christian woman, other than in Malaysia. <laughs> Malaysian law doesn't allow it. But the Quran allows you to marry a Christian woman. And when you marry her, she can be your friend, you know. Yeah. But the verse of the Quran has been translated, Surah Al-Ma'idah. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, O you who have faith in Allah. La tattakhithu al-yahuda wa nasara awliya. Do not take the Jews and do not take the Christians as your friends and allies. So you're going to have to tell her. In Trinidad you call your wife Dudu. So you're going to have to say Dudu. You can be my wife, but you can't be my friend, you know. <laughs> don't take the Jews and don't take the Christians as your friends and allies. They are friends and allies of each other. That's not true. That's false. Jews and Christians were never friends and allies of each other. Never, never, never Jews and Christians were friends and allies of each other. But that's the translation. Do not take the Jews and do not take the Christians as your friends and allies. They are friends and allies of each other. And whosoever from amongst you turns to them with friendship and alliance, you belong to them. You no longer belong to us. And surely Allah does not provide guidance for a people who commit such an acts of hulum, wickedness. That translation is not correct. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that he ordered the angels to bow down, to prostrate before Adam alayhi salam. Fasajadu and they all prostrated. Illa Iblis, save Iblis. Yes, several times in the Quran. If you take this verse of the Quran by itself in isolation as a standalone verse, which you should not do, then you'll come to the wrong conclusion. The one that you throw out of the window with this wrong methodology you'll come to the conclusion that Iblis or Satan was an angel because the order was given to the angels and they all bowed down except him. That defective methodology of studying a verse in isolation led to that mistake. Which is why Mawlana Ansari Rahimahullah in Quranic Foundations and Structure of Muslim Society warns about it. Don't do that. Take all the verses of the Quran, try to find that which binds them together. Put all the, 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 put the necklace together, all the diamonds, to get the system of meaning. And then you see that when you turn to the whole of the Quran, no. Not only was he not an angel, but he could not have been an angel. And then the Quran declares he was jinn. Similarly with this verse. If you take this verse in isolation, you'll never be able to get the true meaning. When you take the totality of the guidance, then you know Allah is not speaking of all Christians. No. And he's not speaking of all Jews. No. He is saying that there will come a time when there will be 
what I describe as a mysterious reconciliation between some Jews and some Christians and an, and a, a mysterious alliance will emerge when that Jewish Christian alliance emerges do not take such Jews and such Christians as your friends and allies who themselves are friends and allies of each other this is the understanding of the verse that you will arrive at when you take the totality of the guidance and whosoever from amongst you turns to them that Jewish Christian alliance which emerged in Europe and which gave to the world modern, modern Western civilization with its epistemological secularism of which Molana Siddiq had just spoken whosoever turns to them belong to them because you will be absorbed in that godless melting pot and Allah will not provide God guidance for a people who commit such acts of zulm so that's the way we respond to the last question it's now two three minutes to three